Okay, shalom, shalom. Come here, say Allah. Kohloim la Yahweh b'Hashem Yahweh Shai b'Hashem Kaha Kadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, who live by the Spirit, taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say to water to all the Akiyim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh b'Hashem Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hananu Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson and praying that it's edified by the Spirit. So wanted to touch on a few articles, man. Um, you know, just going off into this is a very important part of the end days prophecies, you know, as well. Anything that's got to do with prophecy, we got to touch on it. Um, and one of the things that Yahweh said, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, he spoke on the fact that in the end days, just before his coming, that the love of many shall wax cold because iniquity shall abound, because sin shall be so rampant in the earth. That, you know, people are going to be real cold blooded. And you can't get mo no more cold blooded than, um, you know, uh, uh, some of the stuff that these people are doing to their biological family members, man. So this guy right here, this is in Law and Crime, which is a good app, man. I mean, if you want to see some of the most heinous shit, this is the app to go to. It says, Dad locked two toddlers in car and then set it on fire, killing both after domestic dispute with wife. See? These are his seed, man. Or might have not been his seed, hell, in these days and times. She could have been dealing with somebody else. But anyway, this guy's only 36. He appears to be, he, 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 you know, and we don't go by looks. But, you know, you know, we look at the name sometimes. And sometimes you can't look at a look. But we don't go by looks. It's not about a color or anything like that. But, you know, he appears to be, you know, possibly from the northern tribes. It says, I'm a 36-year-old father in Georgia is accused of killing his two young daughters. Yeah, and the two daughters at that by locking the one year old and three year old in his car and setting it on fire during an argument with his wife. Now, how pissed off can you fucking be to do something like that to your own seed? I mean, we get it. We know the woman is wicked as hell, but goddamn, you let a woman push you to put, you know, that I, this is the point where this place is at, man. This is Esau Edom's kingdom. People are stressed. The woman has had the ability to get abroad and do all these different things, and it's just. It's all work no reward, really dealing with an American woman. I gotta just put it plain, man. <laughs> you go go through some shit, man. You're dealing with one of these women, man. Adin Tozo Yahua Ponzo was taken into custody on Saturday and charged with malice murder, felony murder, and arson. God damn, bro. According to a news release from Georgia Bureau of Investigation. The Webster County Sheriff's Office on Saturday, March 30th, requested the Bureau's assistance regarding the investigation into the deaths of Ponza's two daughters. The, the GBI investigation showed that Webster County deputies, along with county firefighters, emergency medical personnel, and the Georgia State Police responded to multiple reports about a fire at a home. Okay, we don't have to get into the address and all that shit. After first responders put out the fire, they discovered two children dead inside the vehicle. Further investigation led them to arrest Ponzo after allegations that he set the vehicle on fire during a domestic dispute with his wife. Webster County Fire Chief Cody Brown told Albany, Georgia, NBC that firefighters dispatched to the scene had already been made aware there were two children involved in the fire before they arrived. My guys were told on the way to the call that they were that there were two children in the car. They got on the scene, pulled lines and extinguished the fire. Brown reportedly told the station on Sunday, we're still working to find out who called the fire in, but the time the fire crew arrived, it was too late to save the children. It was only after the discovery of the children's bodies that the sheriff's office requested assistance from um, GBI. Authorities have not disclosed any details as to what led to the domestic dispute between Ponzo and his wife, nor have they released the cause of death for the daughters. Yeah, because hell, he could have done something to him beforehand. News of the fatal fire sent shockwaves throughout the community. I don't know how fast the fire took off or if they suffered or if they were suffer if they weren't suffering. A resident who asked to remain anonymous. I don't know. It's just really sad to hear about. Another community member similarly told the station that hearing the victims were toddlers were, very, were really sad. They're not hell. Had it been adults, that would have been, would have, you know. I get it, it's children, but shit, just that's a heinous crime no matter what. They're not even out of the, they're not even out in the world just yet, the individual said. They're not even able to understand or comprehend what was going on. 
I couldn't imagine what they were feeling during this, that situation. Pain, real pain, man. Judgment from the Lord, man, is going out, man. So a couple of scriptures we can get on that. First off, let's get the one that I quoted first with um, going into Yahweh's side. This is Matthew. I'm going to start at verse. Uh, let me just get to the point. 24 and 3. Well, I'll read this part. Let's let's just read through it. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Right? This is one of the things that he named off. And because iniquity shall abound, verse 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. This is one of the things that will be happening. Because you got to be a cold-blooded bastard to do something like that. But also, I'm thinking, you know, like I said again, he's an Israelite from the um, northern tribes. And um, let's get um, one of the curses. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 54. It says, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. This is one of the curses that the Lord said that will happen to us as a people, as a whole, you know, so to speak. If we didn't obey his word that he would send us into slavery. And that all these curses would come upon us. Now, there's a lot of curses in here. you got to read through it yourself. You know, read through the entire chapter of 60, um, verse 28. But these curses fit our people to a T. Verse 54 again, Deuteronomy 28 and 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. See, that's one of the curses that's on us real cold, man. You know? And it's not just with our men, it's with our women as well, our women. Because when you go into verse 56 right here, it says, The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eye shall be evil towards her husband, of her bosom, and towards her son, and towards her daughter. So as a as a nation of people, just being parents, and especially, you know, Esau, Edom's kingdom, man, in this place, man, it's, it's a... We are, we through, man. We This is why we need our Lord, Yahweh Shai, to come back. This is why we need to repent and turn back to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the Father and Son. Yahweh is the true name of the Father, which means he exists with the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. So we are at a state where we, we, we need to, um you know what I'm saying, to um repent out here, man. Because as a nation of people, man, we're doing really, really bad right now as far as, um you know, you know, just as just just in general, man. Everywhere you go and you look and you see our people, uh, it, it's, it's, it's horrible, man. The elder just done a, um, a video, uh, I think it was, um, I watched it earlier this morning. With um, I forgot what he named it, but you know the little 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 children, the little Jakes, man, in these rap videos, with these wicked ass parents pushing them to 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 to, to act as if they're adults, little kids, man, cussing, you know what I'm saying, or you know what they would call curse words, you know, harsh language, I would say, because that's exactly what it is, you know. But you know, just saying, I'm talking about man. When I say saying saying stuff that you don't even hear some of these, you know, degenerate ass Negroes out here saying, right? But um. This is one of the curses, though. But let's go off into this as well, though. This is uh, uh, Sirach, also known. Well, it's Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Book of Sirach. 39. Let's start at verse um, 28 here. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire. See, that's one of those spirits of vengeance that the Lord created and made. He made, um, a, a, and so you see how the little girls passed away or died, right? And, and the Lord set all that up. And see, you got Christianity that's telling you that the Lord is good all the time. Hey, no, the Lord will get down on you. And he's no respecter of persons, man. He's no respecter of persons at all. It's it's more, you're seeing a lot more, um, and I guess it's, um, you know, it's really a, a lot of clickbait, you know, a lot of these news networks. Because people are desensitized to all this goddamn crime out here. So now more of the crime is being focused on the women and the children because, you know, they're figuring, OK, that will that will pull in, um, you know, more viewers, so to speak. You know what it says, um, fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth, of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. 
they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is and when their time has come they shall not transgress his word see so these spirits that are created for vengeance they have a joyful feeling when they <laughs> you know they they're, they're joyful to get a commandment from Yahweh about Shemiah was shot these these spirits they're not telling the lord you know what well, well lord those are you know that's a one-year-old and a three-year-old girl what are you doing no they, they're going forth and they they setting it up they're doing that thing and when you go up into um you know we have to bring out um a hob just to prove that the lord is the one matter of fact let's let's prove that it's actually the lord that's actually doing these things this is on first samuel 2 and 6 the lord yahweh all caps when you see all caps that's going into yahweh which means he exists or the existing one again the Lord, Yahweh killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and he lifteth up. So this is the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that um that done that deed to these these um little girls, man. Let's get another one. Let's get um Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, See now that I even I am he. And there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Now you might say, well, hey, why, why did the Lord do those little kids like that? And hey, we don't know the to the extent of what we don't know. <laughs> you know, the scripture says that, you know, our ways. I'm trying to think how was. Um, let me see if I can find it. His ways are higher than our ways. I want to butcher it. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Isaiah chapter 59. Let me start at verse 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in, in the thing where to I sent it. Right? As a matter of fact, verse 8, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord Yahweh. See? So I would, we can't, you know, fully comprehend why the Lord does such things, but we know that it's him. <laughs> and that's all that you, you know, you can't argue with it. You can't fight it. Let's also get this one in Isaiah. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, all caps, Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. See, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. Right. So we know that this is the Lord that, that that's doing this. He created all things. He can call back spirits whenever he wants to. <laughs> he can send spirits into the earth when he wants to. You know, who are you? Well, none of us can. can, can what you going to do to stop it? You know? This is Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? That's Lord all caps again. Yahweh. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? Right? And also, let me get this Job. Job 4 and 7, because you'll say, Well, those little innocent girls... <laughs> You know, but let's get it. Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. And see, you know, the scriptures goes off into reincarnation. Never know what those little girls done in their past life. Or well, may not have done nothing at all. Because there's a situation where the disciples ask, um, you know, the Lord. They asked him, like, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And the Lord said, you know, uh, well, it wasn't neither one of them. This is for the Lord's glory, roughly paraphrasing. But the reason why the disciples asked him that, because they understood that reincarnation, um, was it exists. They understood it better back then. See, these days, our people don't, you, they don't get it. They just like, ah, oh, well, you know, they got that YOLO, you only live once um, um, mindset. But no, you, 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 you know, let me get this, um, the scripture talks about, uh, you see, your spirit goes back to the Lord that gave it. I 
much as I bring the scripture out, I should know where it's at. <laughs> Ecclesiastes, though. Yep, I'm um, 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto Yahweh who gave it. And that's where your spirit goes when you die. But Christianity and all these, you know, you, you these fucking movies, the so-called white man, he's giving you this, this thing that there's this hell underneath the earth and there's a, a red guy he's got on this red suit you know he's got the pitchfork with the horns on his head and he's just waiting on you you know what i'm saying that's not scriptural man your spirit goes back to the lord that gave it as soon as you die you go before the lord you come back third or fourth generation after getting your punishment the lord is going to tell you what's going to go down with you. you 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 he puts parents back together Send your spirit back on the earth through a baby. And, and then from there, you know, but you the, the scripture says that you have no remembrance of it, though. So you're not going to know. You're not going to remember what the Lord told you. You're just going to come down here and, and, and you're going to play out your punishment. And the scripture talks about, uh, I think that's chapter three. Judgment under the sun. And this is why it's so important, man, to have a healthy fear of Yehovah about Shemiah Messiah. Because it says, hey, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Like, for real, man. Okay, let me see here. Yep, Ecclesiastes 3 and 16. It says, moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. What's under the sun? The earth. That's where judgment plays out at. See? This is where judgment is going to play out in the kingdom when it comes to these Edomites. And, and uh, you know, the so-called white race that have been running throughout the earth you know what i'm saying and terrorizing every damn body for centuries you know what i'm saying so this is where it's going to play out at the kingdom is going to be here on earth thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth <laughs> as it is in heaven this this is where the lord the lord is going to reign from here you know that's another lesson but anyway i wanted to um touch on it i just wanted to let's grab this real quick i want to say i think it's let me see what is it first kings yeah, 1 Kings 22 and 19. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of Yahweh, all caps, Lord, which means that it's, it's Yahweh. I saw I saw Yahweh sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. Remember, we was reading, you know, I read the uh, Sirach 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. So the Lord, he created spirits on the left hand side and he created spirits on the right hand side. You can clearly see right here. It says, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. Right? And the Lord Yahweh said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Galiad? And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. So this is a hit that the Lord is putting out on this guy. He's like, okay, <laughs> who's going to persuade him? When it, when it goes off into this word fall, that he may go up and fall, that means, you know, who's going to, you know, that's a hit, man, to have him, have him deleted. It says, and there came forth the spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. And Yahweh said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him, prevail also, and prevail also, go forth and do so. So it says, now therefore, behold, the Lord Yahweh hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets. And the Lord Yahweh has spoken evil concerning thee. So, uh, but Zedekiah, the son of Cha, Na Ana, went near and smote Micaiah on the cheek and said, which way went the spirit of the Lord from me to speak unto thee? So this guy, he's mocking. He doesn't believe what, you know what I'm saying, was being told. <laughs> you know, but anyway, I mean, as you're going through the story, he got he got knocked off, man. The Lord had him knocked off. But anyway, you know, it's a lot of this stuff that's going on out here, man. A lot of, um, this is a lot. It's in, in, let me see if they got, they probably got a whole gang of, and once you go up into these, um, you know, you go to the bottom of these news stories and news apps, and you can just see, you know, the shit that people are doing. It says driver intentionally mowed down couple killing wife. <clears throat> Woman stabs father. Of her child at least 13 times as he asked, Why are you doing this? Uh, mother and toddler subject to Amber Alert found dead in park ditch. 
woman falls from balcony it was sad it was said that she was making out I don't know. They say, they say I'm making out with her. In the dead of night, Lin Mi Mei miraculously fell. I ain't know all that was gonna happen. I ain't wanna even show it down. Hey, but it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands from the sky. Of the An amazing roar. I ain't know they was gonna do that. So lock you, y'all. Yeah. Man gets two life sentences for stabbing pregnant woman in the neck fourteen times. Man enraged by a honk from couple followed them home and intentionally ran down. Hey, look, man. Pregnant mother faces seven years in prison for online review of Joe Okay, I seen. I remember that. A lot of stuff going on out here. There was another one, too, I was just uh, reading. Let me see here. Might be still in my history, but I was just reading this one uh, with this, this other little kid. Let me see here. This right here. Judge hands down Max sentence to babysitter who killed Tyler by covering playpen with a queen mattress. And, um, you know, little, little Jake appears to be, and I don't know, she kind of appears to be an Edomite, but I, I'm not sure. But she, you know, the, the, you know that suffocated the, the baby, man. So the Lord is no respecter of persons, man. The scriptures clearly says that he's the one that kills and makes alive. So he the one that done it. <laughs> and you can't get mad with it, man. Hey, the Lord, judgment, you, you, hey, look. It'd be foolish to question it. All you should be doing is you should be looking at that and fearing Yahweh about Shemi Shai and asking for mercy. That's what you should be doing. But I wanted to touch on this because this is a part of the end days prophecies that the love of many shall wax cold because iniquity shall abound. There's so much sin in the world that iniquity, shall, you know, I mean, sin is rampant in the world, man. You got to be careful out here. It's important to, to pray. We always say that. Pray, man, without ceasing. Scripture says that it's it's plain. I think it's like what's that? I, I think it's one of the shortest verses, the uh, shortest verses in the in the scriptures, man. It's three words. Let me see where is that at. Simple. Yep, right there. First Thessalonians five and seventeen. <laughs> three words. Pray without ceasing. It don't mean that you just be you know you just. You can't have a conversation with nobody, and all you're doing is praying. You can't eat. You can't stop the drink. Can't stop. No, no, it's not talking about that, you know. But you should be praying, man. You should be praying as soon as you get up. You should be definitely praying before you lay down and throughout the day, man. Well, it's nothing. It's nothing wrong. It's, it's how hard is it to throw up a quick prayer? Yeah, what about Shimei Shai? Keep me safe while I'm on the road. Yeah, what about Shimei Shai? You know, um, keep my kids. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing to say a quick prayer. You got to be all drawn out, elaborate, you know what I'm saying? And you, you know, going into this whole, you know, nothing to throw up a quick prayer, man. So I just wanted to touch on this for a hot segment. I pray that the lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Yashola.